Azza Billah, Minna Shaitan Jeem, Bismillah Ar-Rahman Rahim. Today we are going to talk about gene therapy. It's uh, the first topic or the second topic that is in uh, health biotechnology chapter. As you would already know about gene therapy in either this or that way, because in the cell culture, in the stem cells, as well as in the transgenic animal production, we had somehow discussed all these chapters, all these related things that we do in gene therapy. When we are making transgenics, actually that is exactly how you do gene therapy. So when we say um, in, in transgenics or in the production of transgenic animals, we create, we transfer new genes to animals and have transgenic animals. This is exactly the notion of gene therapy. You would see and find it really easy to grasp because this is going to rely more than 80% on the previous concepts with some new aspects in that, in this, this chapter. So it's going to be not only short, but also easy. Required that you have grasped the ideas and the conceptual backgrounds discussed in the animal biotechnology chapter. So what are genes? There are many definitions of genes and we could say it's a piece of DNA that is responsible for a functional or non-functional, you could say structural protein or some other regulatory molecules, for example, RNA, transfer RNA, ribosomal RNA. And in humans, we know that there are more than 20,000 genes, roughly around 25 to 30,000 genes have been already discovered and reported in humans. Now, our genes actually are made of DNA. So we could say in a simpler manner that genes are DNA and DNA are genes. We receive two copies of each gene in the chromosome. And how does that happen? We get it half from our each parent. So when the zygote is formed, we get two copies from our parents. And we depend so much on these parental genes because they are actually the building blocks of what we are, or what we will be. For example, our skin color, skin tone, hair color, the height, immune system, almost everything, everything that we have is coming from them. So sometimes what happens is these genes, they are not replicated correctly. I mean, when these genes are multiplied, because when a cell multiplies, the whole genome has to multiply. And when the whole genome multiplies, the genes have to multiply. Errors can occur. And even very small errors, really, really small errors can have a big impact. It can change the way we breathe, it can change the way we talk, and even the way we digest food. And these changes are known as mutations in our genes. Now, mutations in our genes, it, it is because of the chemical processes going on in the cell. Some environmental factors may also be involved. The way you eat, the way you, your environment is, the way you are exposed to external mutagens, for example, exposure to UV light. And the third part is inheritance. This is something which you get from your parents, as we discussed up here. So you get two copies, if both of the copies have the defect, or one of the copy has the defect, you would have a disease or a faulty gene as an inheritance coming to you from your parents and it could cause a disease. Now, discussing all this, it refers to uh, it refers the genes to be like blueprints of our body, how our body works, how our body is shaping, how do we digest food, how high we will be, how would be our skin tone, what would be the color of our hair. All these are the blueprints which are actually genes. If, if we consider these to be the blueprints, gene therapy is actually a method in which we have, can redraw some missing lines or some schemes. You know a blueprint, what is actually a blueprint? <clears throat> when the architects design 
मैप नक्शा जिसको बोलते हैं जब किसी मकान का नक्शा बनता है उसको बेसिकली ब्लूप्रिंट बोलते हैं देन अगर उसमें कोई चीज मिस हो गई है कोई दीवार मिस हो गई है किसी जगह कोई बैल्कनी में कोई ग्रिल मिस हो गया है सो यू कैन टेक अ पेन एंड यू कैन री ड्रॉ इट द सेम एग्जांपल इज हेयर द जीन्स आर द ब्लू ऑफ योर बॉडी एंड जीन थेरेपी इज दैट एक्स्ट्रा हेल्प दैट यू कैन री सम मिसिंग लाइन जीन थेरेपी एक्चुअली इज इंसर्शन ऑफ जीन्स इन टू इंडिविजुअल सेल्स टिश्यूज फ्यूचर डिजीज सच एज मोस्टली जेनेटिक डिजीज इट कुड बी हेरेडिट्री और इट कुड नॉट बी हेरेडिट्री and uh, in this way allele allele is the like the monoform there are two copies so singular form is allele the mutant allele is replaced with a functional one so what happens if you have a, a disease in one of the genes you can replace it with a one with the one that is working this technology is uh, is still its infancy which means it's mostly restricted at the moment or limited to trials only but it is a lot of promise it is a lot of promise and in the next few decades we will see this as a common medical procedure like all other surgeries of these days introduction of the normal genes into cells which contains defective genes you have a defect in cell that is actually a defect in 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 the gene genome of that cell and then you just introduce a normal working gene so that the missing protein could be compensated again uh, gt means uh, gene therapy can also be used to correct a deficient phenotype a deficient phenotype is uh, is coming as a result of uh, missing protein and a missing protein or an altered protein sometimes they would be possibilities that a protein is synthesized but it's not in its proper shape some of the 3d folding or some of the chaperones are not giving it the structure it needs to function properly as it is in case as it it as it is the case in one of the adaptive symptoms so normal gene products are synthesized because you have restored the gene you have inserted a new copy of the gene and the protein the gene is working and you have a functional working copy of the protein so the approach is it's an experimental technique and of course it would allow doctors to treat disorder by actually not doing any surgery or not giving you any injections of into your muscular regions or intravenous inside directly into the blood flow but instead what they would be doing they would be doing uh, transferring genes for example there is a gene x which is defective in someone's body and it is causing a disease y so the doctors would actually not give the patients a medicine so that the symptoms of the faulty x gene could be prevented they would right away go and insert a copy a new copy of an x gene that would go inside the genome and integrate itself into its position and giving a normal protein or a workable functional copy of an abnormal gene so that this abnormal gene could be replaced several other approaches could be like you have a mutated gene and it is causing a disease so you you just replace it with a healthy copy or there is a gene which is mutated and it is giving a lot of problem because of that mutated protein because of that mutated gene the gene products are giving you a problem so you could just go in inactivate it and knock it out remember one of the easiest way to do this as we discussed a lot in genetic engineering and transgenics how do you do this you clone not clone you actually insert or integrate a piece of dna right in the middle of the what open reading frame of this gene through insertion and activation and that's it there is a gene uh, which has like 500 base pairs 50 base pairs and you insert it somewhere 15 20 base pairs right in the center of that gene 
through insertion inactivation and you knock it out because now the gene makeup is changed. It's not what it was. And sometimes you could also introduce a new gene to help the body to fight a disease. So gene therapy is actually the introduction or incorporation of new pieces of DNA into your genome so that it becomes a part of your genome and it could give rise, it could get expression and the protein that is coming out as a result of the new gene is making our lives better, either fighting a disease or in some cases not a protein, but directly in, uh, inactivating a gene because of the insertion right into the opening frame of the gene. And sometimes you actually replace a mutated gene with a functional one.